What happens to you when the crisis hits? You know, the chaos that's just around the corner, the thing that's most predictable in life, like death and taxes, that everyone has to face at some point or another. If you're not in a crisis now, you've either just come out of one or you'll be entering one soon. After all, it was Robert Plant in the Rain Song who said, on us all, a little rain must fall. It's just part of life that we react to in three main ways. We either admit to it, but hasten to run from, or try to deny at all costs, drowning it in all kinds of sensory stimulation and busyness, or we face it as squarely as we can. What can we do about these unpredictable misfortunes that happen to good people, people like you? What are you gonna do when it comes to visit your doorstep? The big question here for most of us is why? Why has this terrible thing happened to me? What did I do wrong? How can I make it through? And so on. You may have intuited that some tragedy has befallen me in the past, and you'd be quite right. But more on that later. But it's here, right when the crisis happens, that we need a solid worldview about our existence and the nature of the universe that can be the difference between giving up in despair and pessimism or remaining optimistic and pressing forward, come what may. We need something that can sustain us, help us endure and even thrive. I think we need to step back a little and take a broader perspective and look through the widest possible lens we can at this problem. It really comes down to this. Either the universe came into being as a brute fact by random chance and necessity, or it was caused by a prime mover with intention, power, and amazing creativity. Many people call this superintelligence God. This very question has literally barreled down through the ages and there are untold numbers of brilliant people on both sides of the argument. So the issue doesn't appear to be provable. I mean, not like in the sense you can prove two plus two equals four in mathematics, but there is a treasure trove of evidence out there that acts as a pointer towards one or the other ultimate reality. And it's really up to us to evaluate the evidence presented to us and find what makes sense to us. So you may be wondering, what happened to me and how did I deal with it? Well, a few years back, I literally lost most of the vision in my left eye due to a condition called Nyon, which affected the blood flow to my optic nerve. The doctor's prognosis, nothing could be done about it. In other words, science and medicine could not help me. I was on my own. A torrent of emotions washed over me at that point like a tsunami. Darkness enveloped me as I felt I was finished as an artist. I felt worthless and my future looked bleak and unknown. I stopped drawing altogether or going to the studio and I ended up on the couch slipping into depression, each day worse than the one before. It was not going well for me and if I stayed on that course, the outcomes weren't good. In fact, they were deadly. As I was slipping away, I felt I had to make a choice about how I would deal with this. On the one hand, there was the universe springing up out of nothing, bleak and cold, but a brute fact nonetheless staring back at me. I mean, there was no ultimate purpose or meaning, just a nihilistic void waiting. I felt weak and insignificant, standing on my own frail power in opposition to it as it pushed down against me with all its power. I was telling myself that all I had to do to survive was to mount a heroic offensive against an unnamed enemy and win the battle in my mind by summoning positive self-talk and optimism from a deep well somewhere within. But I had no such power and no such well could be found and I knew it. Many people can go this route and find their way and kudos to them, but it offered no hope for me. My salvation came in the opposite direction. I just couldn't believe that the universe sprang out of nothing, randomly, without a cause. I mean, something cannot come from nothing, and to believe so takes a deep act of faith. In this world, there is no effect without a cause, 
and that was both logical and self-evident to me. At that point, it came to me clearly that the existence of God made sense and was more powerful than the alternative. It also took faith, but it was faith in evidence around me pointing to a creator that allowed me to entertain that possibility. If that power was massive enough to make everything in the universe, then it made me too. And if that was the case, then I was known by that power and not an insignificant creature facing everything on my own. Over time, I came to believe that a power greater than myself could restore me and would if sought diligently. This power was benevolent towards me, knew all things, and had a purpose for the universe and for me too. That provided a foundation and a backdrop for me to walk out and face my suffering and shoulder my burden like nothing else could. I'm doing fine now. And back to my art career. In fact, I'm mentoring others on their art journey. Much more could be said about this exciting path that I'm on, but suffice it to say, it gave me a real horizon of hope to sustain me in this world, come what may. And I'm strong enough now to say, bring it on.